Hey guys, this is DT Gaming. Uh, on to the uh, very first episode of Call of the Wild Angler. Oh, I'm trying to start the game here. Um, I a bit issues. <coughs> hey there, Matrix and Jessica. How y'all doing? What is it about your hobby that keeps you coming all the way out here? Are you guys able to hear me okay? Is it the freedom? Wandering in search of that perfect spot. Oh, well, you guys already seen that part. I just touched the dang volume control and it cut the intro off. It's alright. That's part of the main drill anyway. Okay, user ingredient. Agreement. I really don't care about reading that. Ah, uh, yes. I plan to do RF4 after this. Because I don't want to go back on my word. Uh... I think I already got it at home. I could skip this right now, I don't need to do that. So let's check the options here. Um, I'm working on it. I'm Clayton David Johnson, and I would say this here is my part. But from this day forward, well, that ain't quite true. As far as the eye can see, stream to sky, grove to gully, this ain't mine no longer. It's ours. Ours to explore, ours to cherish, and most importantly, ours to take responsibility for. Because if we don't, uh, not a soul will. Take your time to drink it in and get used to life here. The hot springs or mountain lake are great goals. But you call the shots, go where you'd like. Your equipment will take more than a little mastery. But if it's easy, it ain't worth doing. And you'll thank your lucky stars you did in the end. It's true that sweet mother nature offered up this bountiful providence. But over I the years, tried the game earlier. Uh, like I said, I got... Siphoned Stuck. off her plenty for room. As you've seen in the previous it's been videos, the job of us Johnsons to keep together I, since 1872. I removed the, I started over basically. Trust so me, we're to stream. Hell, I'm not even sure it's um, possible. But it's the, well the, the other what we have today um, is beautiful It's due to the collective efforts of every guest that I can welcome you. Golden Ridge Reserve. I gotta fix something as soon as this part is done.
I swore I clicked the, um, what you call it up there, but it's not showing. Ah, uh, don't be start barking. I have no way to shut my, my, uh, mic off. Oh. Uh, okay, so. A is male. B is female. Wait, look, so that's close. Yeah, A, B is male. I mean, female. A is male. Way not much to choose from. Oh, thank you. So, there's only uh, five presets here. I'm gonna stick with characters. And you notice there's only one option for the hairstyle. There probably will be more later because you can edit the character from what I've seen from Mista's screen. Uh, boots, can't edit. Uh, gloves, you can turn off or on. No accessories or anything like that. Dang dog. I, I, be honest with you. There's some games you can't really break. Look at for a uh, fishing plant, for example. I mean, you can break, but you cannot have the option to fix. But if you permanently break your rod and reel, then you got to think, what happens if you break your only rod and reel, and you got no money? You just you you um <laughs> you got to start over because the game is broke. Nightbot doing is spam in the chat there. Okay, let me just pick this again. Okay, so I need to fix something quick. Okay, I didn't put my. People in and out of this room, steady. It happens in real life, yes, but you what? Sophia you, Taylor you had the from money. Taylor's Tackles here, and I hear you're in need of a little fishing refresher. Well, let me tell you, you've come to the right place. Although another right place to go would be Taylor's Tackles, right down at the Central Outpost. Can't miss it. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that um, in real life, yes, you can break stuff in that. But in a game, you like to be able to at least keep your rod and reel, at least your beginners anyway. But like I said, you start off the game with no currency at all. And if you break your rod and reel by not following the tutorials and stuff, you're going to regret that because you got to start over the game. Yes, there's consequences. The only thing I like to see is that you're able to break your line, which is a line snap. So you break your line, you lose your hook, you lose your bait. That's how I think it should play. Otherwise, you buy a lure and you permanently die. I hopefully they'll fix that. At least they're working on it. I mean, look it for a second, right? This proves that they're working on this game because they uh, released a patch right here. See, this update addresses a number of technical issues and brings further improvements to the game's performance. Uh, gameplay, the spawn frequency of gold and diamond ring fishes in the same area has been reduced. Building speed animation during the fish bites have been updated, so we'll see that. Improved fishing logic and fish species yeah. parameters. That mountain dew they to me just like mountain dew and okay. punch notes. Yeah. Uh, fish species parameters, including small adjustments to bait behaviors. The player's avatar and rod now displays correctly when the TAA is disabled. Fixed the outline, highlight, visual glitch found on some AMD graphic cards. Update the reward pose so the player's avatar 
now holds the rainbow trout more accurately, improved the float's visibility, adjusts the angle and intensity of the torch to improve invisibility at night. Uh, the UI updated the early adapter items thumbnail, updated the leveling pop-up message to match the player's level displayed in the main menu. Uh, fix an issue where the leveling up message would display the same level multiple times when going up several levels at once. Fix an issue causing the undiscovered locations icon to remain stuck after fast traveling. Fix an issue causing a player's avatar to do desynchronize in multiplayer. The mouse cursor no longer overrides navigation of menus. When using a keyboard or gamepad, fix the display of Imperial metrics when Imperial measurements are selected. It's no longer possible to get soft locked when opening the map while attempting to access the store or the vehicle um, spawner. The spin fishing tutorial can now be accessed from the notice board. Fix an issue that would cause the audio engine <laughs> to stop working after the 4x4. Uh, Mr.'s not gonna like that. <laughs> he don't like the, mo the motor on the engine. Uh, sound effects in the engine. Uh, stability and performance. Generally, stability and uh, improvements. Fix a rare crash caused by the 4x4 uh, transitioning water. Uh, fix a rare crash caused by the fishing line not rendering properly. Added better tracking for G, uh, GPU related issues. So, as you see, they're trying to improve the game. Right. If they fix that, then you guys won't, then you can't do that no more. That might be why the line cut is there so you can fast reel. Or cancel. All right, welcome to Golden Ridge Reserve. To ease you in, you will be present presented with some short explanations and instructions. These instructions will cover the controls and how to catch your first few fish. Now, first things first. Let's get you in position. Step up to the pier, if you please. Okay, I need to do a couple things here. That music is going to turn down slightly to about uh, 40. I'll turn the master volume up to 60. That dialogue I'll turn down to you because you missed it, gets annoyed by that. Sophia. I'll leave everything else the same. Fine. Yes, I want to change. I'm going to turn multiplayer matchmaking off. I don't feel pe people like people. Jumping into my session here. I want to be by myself. Um, a couple of things I want to fix. Uh, I want to turn that off. I hate blur. Don't think it's got to be on 8K. Okay, everything else is fu uh, fine. We'll keep it that. Okay. I see you brought your own rod. Can't get anywhere if you don't take it out. So you do Wait, the what? honors. Anti. Anti-social. I wonder if you can fall in the water. Can I fall in the water? Where are we wading too deep? You're not allowed to swim in the reserve and will be put back on shore if you do. Okay, well, we gotta now know what you can can't do. So, let's start off with a simple cast. Keep those shoulders and hips square for me. So, it's pretty simple with the game controller. 
uh, it's, you just hold LT, then use the stick to control the casting. So, so pull down, then up, Reel it in. then release. Take your time. Get used to it. Feels fantastic, right? Well, I'd like to see you do a few more. Let's say two. They're working in the water. I did read that. Um, they got to work on a whole new shader, which is going to be in the next patch, which sounds. For real. I'd like to see a nice clean cast. Strike as soon as she bites and reel her in when she's tired. Oh, you fit, wait, wait, you fall in the water? You fit, oh, you fall in the water. I'd say you say failed in the water. I tried to tell Mista that she could fast reel to uh, retrieve your, uh, your, your uh, bait quicker. So there are games that are worse than this, I can tell you that, um... Congratulations! She's a beauty. The fish here aren't yours to keep, so even if you love her, you gotta let her go. This is your float indicator. It will show the status of your floater and the distance of the line between it and you. The indicator will start to wobble when the fish is nibbling and be pulled down when the fish bites. Oh, that's okay, it's fine. I understand you, you said fall, or fall, but yeah, I no problem, dude. Okay, so... The one game I'm thinking about, have you ever tried a, a game called Fishing Adventures or something like that? I think it's another game by, um... Well, Ultimate Fishing, was it? Or Ultimate Games? Not so good though. This is the tension indicator. It displays how much tension is on your line relative to the maximum tension it can withstand. The more the indicator fills up, the more tension is on the line. If the tension becomes too high, you risk snapping your line. Keeping tension in the, in the line will ensure the fish can't escape easily and tire the fish out. Tension will be high when a fish is fighting and decrease when it gets tired. Keep the tension high by moving your rod up and away from the fish when it is fighting or by reeling in when it gets tired. Okay, so I need to catch one more fish for this part. But yeah, Ultimate Fish Simulator 2 is better than that game though. I'll probably play that game tomorrow.
I'll try and get Misfit to explore the map just a little bit. Um, there's something I want to show you guys. Um, once I get to where the warden is. Uh, Golden Ridge Reserve. What's in the name, huh? Well, this one dates all the way back to the late 18th century. French trappers named the park Cret d'Or. Hello! I can see you. Can you see me? Come find me. I'm down at the outpost. So I can actually survey the area again. Be good. I hope they let you interact with um, things that you couldn't interact before. Because that was a bug in the game. Okay, some people are asking this why... This right here is my pride and joy. The Central Reserve Outpost. This ain't just any outpost. You'll find all the bells and whistles here, like Taylor's Tackles, a brand new shop run by my friend Sophia. Other than that, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation, plus a flagpole for yourself. Okay, I was trying to say, um, other people are asking why this game wasn't added, um, or added the DLC on on the hunter or like why can't you fish at the same time as hunting okay i'm gonna show you guys something <laughs> okay just think for a minute right so you can't run or what you like call it so i'm just gonna go to the water edge for a minute Am I online? So I can't explore the map until I get a cache. Anyway, the other trying to say is, like, say you want a cache, right? And you're sitting in the area where you can hunt. You're sitting there casting, say. Okay, guess what? Uh, you can't move. You're sitting there fishing, and then you hear a growl behind you, and all you think in your mind that you're trying to run, you can't move because you got your line casting. While you're sitting there trying to reel your line, you got a bear biting your ass. So, that might be one of the reasons why this was not a part of the Hunter. Also, this map right here, I, I, I don't know why. I'm just grasping straws here. With a soft deep breath. I'm going to guess probably in the next the uh, reserve. Because... Let me exit the game for a minute. Because when you go into the game... You see, like, for example, right here, Gold Ridge Reserve. You can pick a map. So, this tells you there's going to be multiple maps on this game. So, Hello. maybe... I can see you. Can you see me? Come find me. I'm down at the outpost. So, maybe the next map will have bottom fishing. But they gotta work out the bugs first before they add more maps, you know. Wait, are you serious to go up there again? At least they fix the bug where you... Actually, if you leave the story in line that... It'll allow you to continue where you left off. 
because people get stuck or they, if they exit the game or a game crashes, some stupid thing. Anyway, sorry about that. But. I see why I was almost getting thrown out because I wasn't following this the part of the story. Nice to put a fish to a face. While you're here, can I interest you in a bargain? How about some what piques your interest? It's on the house. Okay, so they did give you one piece of uh, one credit to buy bread because you didn't have no credit at first. Everyone starts somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a now, smoother learning curve you won't than get a far if you don't put your bait on your rod, so give it a go. Okay, we'll go to the jetty. Yeah, that's why I kind of turn the dialogue down. So anyway, you seen the part where it says that they fixed the audio issue with the Jeep? <laughs> Mister kept trying to do everything he can to prevent the thing from making noises. Uh, now they fix that. Drag is a function of your reel that determines how much power a fish needs to use to take the line from the reel. The higher you set your drag, the more energy a fish needs to spend to take the line stronger. Stronger reels produce more drag. Change your drag by equipping your rod. Okay. Uh, a higher drag will increase tension and tire your fish faster, or even prevent it from taking line, but might also put your line at risk from, of snapping. A lower drag will let the fish take more line, and 0% drag uh, won't allow you to reel the fish. This is where if the line snaps, you should lose something, right? I understand what you're saying there, Matrix. Something's got to go. Um, if you don't snap your line, it should be your hook and bait. I don't know how much these hooks are, though. Try setting your drag higher. Give setting your drag lower a go. They did fix something. This wasn't this strong. Oh, that damn little fish bro almost broke me off. Pumping is the act of lifting your rod to pull a fish closer to you and really in the slack line created as you lower it back down. Keeping your rod opposed to the fish swimming direction is a good way to tire out the fish faster but wait with reeling until the fish has stopped biting unless the drag is holding it in place. Alright, now let's try catching a fish with what you know about drag. Try not to let the fish gain too much line by keeping your tension high when you need to.
they missed. see something here but I'm able to reel in that these fish easily with that 30 percent now I'm trying to break me up at 15 I'm going to assume it actually falls in this category right here. And right there is also the problem. So these two factors right here, it's what's actually changed the fighting mechanism. my message. Welcome to the reserve, buckaroo. Help play and preserve the reserve by reporting objects of interest you find while fishing and traveling. Report any instance of evasive plant species, diseased, uh, infested trees, or uh, tourist traction you find. First up, buckaroo, here's your bread. Oxide daisies are the thorn in the side of sweet mother nature. Pale, mangy weeds. Can't miss them if you wanted to. Now for the butter. Engelman spruce beetle infestations. Horrible little creepy crawlies that'll rip apart and apart in a flash. And finally, bread and butter ain't squat to a big sizzling hunk of meat. Personally, I reckon bones are useless without tasty flesh attached. But them tourists love a crusty stegosaurus. So keep a lookout. Don't go out of your way, but if you're fishing and you spot one, let me know. Okay, so maybe I will visit the board for the driving 101. Driving instructor Sophia here to show you the ropes. First stop is the outpost valley. Check the board! Did you know the oldest fish hooks ever were made of sea snail shells and thought to be about 23,000 years old? Pretty neat, huh? Buy something. <laughs> She's still the demanding. next step is to call a car. The valet will have it there in a flash. Now, to get in the car, I'd recommend using the door, but you could always try and borrow up from the bottom. Sure, hope Does you can make... drive. Give that a go. Did it actually make sense?
private car for the waypoint. What waypoint? Okay. Uh, game just crashed like really bad. Uh, my monitor shut off. Uh, my graphic card crashed. It just stopped. Everything just stopped working. The whole computer crashed. So I'm going to try something with the game. I don't know what happened. I do apologize for that, guys. Um, so I'm going to send this report. But I'm streaming this and I caught everything on um video. I can't sit back now. God dang it, dog. Come here. Hey. My God. Oh, I'm so upset. Are you, are you guys uh, there? I do apologize. I think I know what crashed me. What is it about your hobby? I don't feel like listening to the stories right now. Play. Video. This right here is the problem the TAA Mike Pierre cannot handle TAA. It's gotta be the FXAA. And now to leave. I've already shown you the door. Sophia out. Oh, I lost my car. Okay.
Glad we got that all the way. Yeah, it crashed me bad. I don't know my graphic card over here or something. I, I have no idea. But I caught all of it on, on stream, which is great because I can report that. So the first destination we're going to go to is up here, so... Put a marker right here. This person is glowing. That's just the sort of weed we're looking for, Buck. Sally will be rip rear and ready for introductions in no time. I even made her a little business card. Okay, so, um, yeah, we just stay on this trail right here. Mr. to explore um, so he can get some credits. Credit, when, you, when you explore, you get credits, you can use credits, you can buy equipment. slurps away at the very ground we stand on. Unlike its just as evil twin, the sawmill, this piece of work is allowed to keep working, which makes its work that much worse. I just hope this thing stops spinning before the world does. If I'm around to see it, all the better. XP is awarded for activities such as catching fish, discovering locations, and finding items. As you gain XP, you will also be given credits that can be used to purchase equipment, clothing, and more from the shop. Earn enough XP and you will level up, granting you an additional bonus of credits. <laughs> we get a level? Oh, they actually changed the level um, gauge up there. So this is a solid man. So 
for the next spot on the map. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Boy, that branch took me flying. What the hell I hit that? Okay, so the next destination is over here. Major, she's still there. Are you still in school? I know no clips is. That's why he's probably not on right now. I put a marker right there. I just went around in circles almost. Uh, okay, I didn't see if he said he left or anything like that. Because, uh, um, it's because the game crashed on me and the Steam. Actually, OBS, everything crashed on me. I almost got disconnected from the screen because of that. Them oxide is sorted. We'll be pulling out the daisies in no time, bud.
I want to get to that waterfall. That's the idea of where I want to show you guys. So I got to drive there first. Visitors will love it. God bless your cotton socks. I don't mind a visitor or two, though, so keep it notified. Yeah, that was kind of cool. It said butter is butt and call them toast. Jesus! Here you see the tracks of my tears. One more of man's attempts to siphon away nature and bounty at a heavy cost. This railway here carried a precious cargo out of the park to be refined and sold for corn. However, it got shut down when the powers that be did the right thing for us. After the mining industry was extinct here at the park, we had no more need for a choo-choo or two. Now they're gone to join the rest of the metal they hauled out of here. There's nothing nice about chipping away at nature's beauty for some pretty rock. Maybe hard to picture now, but the powers that be didn't always see the value in protecting a place like Golden Ridge. 
instead getting carried along in the gold rush that washed the reserve down the drain. It's hard to say how much damage the toxic metal and acid runoff did to the park. I'm relieved to say that those who could put their foot down before the Elks, Bears, and whatever Johnson was around got ran out of house and home. Now the town rots where it stands and the gold stays where it should. I'm assuming that this is the next area right here. Let's hit interact. We are. Okay. I keep seeing something here. Here. Ah, well then, well then. Looks like Mr. Bigfoot's back in the park. If you can find me any more, I'll put it in the visitor center next to the pond music and the fairy parties. Taking past and stuff, but we got a marker so far back that I'm not going to pass anything soon. Hard to see over that over the, the, the hood when you drive over a hill. Drop by the outpost. Much like any other outpost, you'll be able to find notice boards, storage lockers, a boathouse, and a garage for easy access to transportation. Later, American trappers rendered the French name in English as Golden Ridge Reserve. I quite like the old moniker, but hey, the new one's not too shabby. You know, this game, if you think about it, like I said before, it kind of reminded me more of a uh, 
and exploration map and stuff like that. This be something that would be perfect for something in National Geographic for the history of this this area. I don't know if Golden Ridge is actually a real thing, but I know Yellowstone and stuff is in Wyoming. So maybe it does exist. Who knows? Okay, we're going this way, so I gotta make a mark with that. There's strange clipping going on with the car. We don't like it. This dam here was built in the 1950s. And out of all the taxes the land has to pay, it's one of the better ones. This structure allows proper irrigation of the surrounding farmland. And while I wouldn't say it's as grand as some of the other sites in the park, it's a monument of sorts. Unfortunately, that monument releases greenhouse gases, deprives ecosystems of nutrients, destroys habitats, raises sea levels, wastes water, but... Ah, hey, best of a bad bunch. Okay, now you guys know what it's talking about the reflections, right? Here's a prime example. Okay, look at the windshield right here, right? And the mirrors. If they fix the resolution on the uh, those reflections, this will solve the issue with the water. Has Mr. Bigfoot been? Or yeah. perhaps yeah. Mr. Yeah. Bigfoot? <laughs> Too gone. Need to do something. Huh? 
me to do something real quickly. On here? No, on the bank account. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Go in there. Need you to transfer. Make sure I got the money in there first. I transfer 360 back to my other account. You know, back to the savings. So I'm covering the money that I took out. How oh, many? 360. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Okay. I'm putting it back in there. Alright. Cut that. I had these things for my brother. Okay, so over here I crashed too. This is another spot. Actually, I'm not there yet. So as for Western fishing for, um, I don't know where, I'm actually I'm probably going to do some more tournament on the quarry, and I'm just going to use the balsa minnows and see what we can catch. This road is so confusing to drive on. I live and breathe another Douglas fir beetle infestation. Comb the area and see if you can spot more. You know how hideous that reflection is?
if it's gonna rain on me or something. Around these parts, you can see scars in the land left behind by the bandits of Prosperity Spring. This one here is a shaft stabbed deep in the soil by some suckers, scrabbling to make two cents to rub together, thinking they can go home to their families with a smile and a, a pocket full of silver looted from the land. Well, I can hardly blame them. Any poor soul would stay poor after being sold that sham to dream. You see, people don't make money. They just move it around. And although no end of it was get moved out of Golden Ridge, it's the ones that already had the money that came out rich. There ain't any silver or gold in this hole no more. And there sure as hell ain't no dreams. Only ghosts now, and this pit is a grave. Here lies the American dream. Lived on the back of the land and those too poor to know any better. Rest in peace. I guess what we hear is next. Well, once you get here, we gotta get off the off the car. Out of the car, I think so. So, prepare you guys, because it might crash up here. It's right here where I crashed the uh, uh, before, again. I'm watching the stream to see what happens because OBS cut out on me right here. That's not the road. <laughs>
Well, I'm hitting everything. Okay, I gotta get off here anyways. Okay, guys, you guys gotta see this. I'm here as right, soon as I get there. It's sad to see that nobody is actually uh, taking the time showing these um, parts on the game with the streams and that. So I figured that I want to be the few, one of the very few that actually does. Taste pineapple in it. I don't like it. Well, that's what I taste. It. To me, it tastes like it's a combination of like Mountain Dew mixed with um with um pine punch. Just bring me one of those. Bring me one of what? Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> if you're hearing my comments here, say I don't do pineapple. They fixed that though, probably. They said they lowered the, uh, reduced the amount of gold and diamonds that are caught frequently. Yeah, the car's not beat up yet. I, I, I don't go off-road. I try to um, get from point A to point B without crashing and everything. But I did crash into a lot of signs, though. I can't see over the dashboard when I'm going over a hill. Coming to the spot right now that I want to show you one of the main beauties in this game. Um, hey, tell Ryan about three. About three? Yes. Um, what kind of substance that place has? Huh? So you guys got them something from the fall? We'll show after. Well, I might be sleeping now. I can't do anything right now. Do they have like, you know, just like a basic cam or a basic curtain? Yes. Okay. Then just, to me, I just need just turkey, cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickle, and mayo. Okay. Yeah. You basically know what I like when I sub, so. Yeah. Basically, the meat and cheese, just, you know, just basic turkey and, like, maybe, like, prolonged cheese if they have it. Yeah. Okay. I must be doing supper today, and people are already putting their orders in and that before, way, way before it's time for supper. It, it's only 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> and people keep coming in and out. I apologize, guys. Here it is, guys. Coming up right now. Take time to get up here, but it's worth the look.
Heck of a view, ain't it? Don't matter where you are, you can hardly miss it. What you're seeing here is what I saw every weekend growing up. It's what my pop and my pop-pop saw working away. It's what the Nez Pierce, Blackfoot, and Shoshone saw as they lived and breathed and loved under that same big sky. It's hard not to feel connected when you feel nothing but awe at the majesty of Mother Nature. Where you're standing, so many have stood before you. And these mountains have stood here longer still. They're older than the oldest of man's tales and will outlive every last one of us. What do you guys think of this view? Climb back down and get back there. <laughs> I gotta get back to my car. I see they fixed the animation of running now. I'll do some short clips on this game after uh, 40's uh, main attractions and stuff for people that, that might have missed it. Sun going down, or is it behind the hill, uh, mountains? I see something here. So, based on the time of day, I can't really tell. But you can see how slow the shadow is moving. This tells you that uh, it's got a very, very long day and night uh, transition. gonna take a shortcut. Screw that. I'll die. getting dark. Hoping it getting dark. I want to get to that waterfall before it gets dark.
There's my Jeep. Okay, where to go next? Like down here. Um, I got a thousand twenty six already. Now that man is standing the road beyond me, I'm not crashing anything. there do be sure to drop by the outpost much like any other outpost in the park you'll be able to find notice boards storage lockers a boathouse and a garage okay so it's the emerald outpost i'm going to next How the hell did I miss that? Oh, I see it all the ways. That's why. I don't see the medals anywhere. Oh, 
too far. I guess we'll go there next because I was play that waterfall. So we gotta get get off from there. It's actually not that far. We're almost there. Crazy ass roads. I hit an earth sign. It's gonna be getting dark. I think it's just cloudy. Then again, I see sunset. I'm losing daylight. Or is that the month?
Yeah, sun going down. I'm gonna try to get to this waterfall as quick as possible. Sonic is running. Sonic is skipping. That sun's going down pretty quick. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Yeah, see this, the sky is changing the um, colors here. Thank you for stopping by there, Jess. Uh, you take care. Like I said, I'll do um, some clips and stuff of this gameplay so you guys can see certain things. An outpost here. You can hear the water fucking you can hear the rumble. The human history of the park itself began at least 11,000 years ago, when the ancestors of the contemporary Shoshone began to hunt and fish in the region. Obsidian, which you'll see dotted around the park, was a key part of their culture. It's taking a bit to get here, but almost there.
Around August time, it's not too rare a sight to see a double rainbow leaping across the rapids. So keep your eyes open. I could wax lyrical about how beautiful and majestic the sight it is all day. But above all else, Spire's drop is annoying. If you ever feel like you're mad at the world or even a little sad, sometimes it's just nice to see some water getting a snot beat out of it. The kid never stays down for long. That ain't the main waterfall even. Up here is. A big large set of steps to climb up this waterfall. Did I always see it? I don't remember the big steps that the uh, climb. But, looks like I already did visit, so... Buck, those beetles sure are foul. Even seeing a quarter of them makes my skin crawl. Find me the rest and I'll send them back. Alright, so... We'll just fast travel back down here. Hope my car is still there. Car is gone, so we need back power. We lose your car. That's kind of funny. That's sound effects. Oh, you know what? I see where, where the steps were. I tell you what, thing, this is one of their best features in this game. Okay, so we pretty much visit everything over here. So we're gonna fast travel back to the main um, place. Okay, um, tackle shot. Lovely afternoon for a fish. 
Or perhaps a purchase? What can I get you? So we got thirteen thirty-eight. Um, so I'm gonna buy some Everyone things starts here. somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. I can the buy this. combines old school sensibility and style with all the modern technological advancements you've come to expect from another Perkinkin's future classic. We'll buy that. Yeah, I'll buy a reel. This has got a uh, 13 pound tip, 26 pound. Uh, strength for the rod. When you're playing with a scope, performance and accuracy is the name of the game. This showstopper boasts a graphite body, braid ready spool, and a strong, durable, hard aluminum main shaft that will help you rule the roost. 6.6 6 pound for strength. That's 5.5. This is for a vintage reel lover. The Iago is something special. For performance focused fishers, it's really something else. Okay, line. For a vintage reel lover, the Iago is something special. For performance focused fishers, it's really something else. We can get this line right here. Uh, lures. These oh, little hoppers popper. exploit the predatory instincts of the fish, pretending to be critters struggling on the surface of the water. Alright. Okay, there's some things we gotta do before we Latest. get into our float fishing here. Uh, we gotta do the float the fishing float part. The float fishing guru from Taylor's Tackles is here to tell you what's what and who's who. I've picked out a nice spot for float fishing, so catch you there. Oh, it's stuck. Come back soon. Suspending a bait underneath your float and a whole lot of patience. Float fishing takes its name from floater used in to indicate if a fish is nibbling on the hook. The floater sits on top of water while the hook is a variable distance below the surface. Once a fish interacts with the hook, either nibbling or biting, the floater will move, indicating when it's time to strike. Now they claim that they made the float uh, more visible when casting. What sets floats fishing apart from spin fishing is the more idle approach to getting a bite and the use of baits rather than lures. After casting you will wait and let the fish come to your bait. If you don't get a bite just recast in a different spot. Before you cast, try experimenting with the drag and hook depth. The drag set by your reel determines how much power a fish needs to take line and gain distance. The hook depth determines how much line distance there is between your hook and the float. This should always be less than the depth of the water. That's how depth the water is, you say? I don't.
I can't see the bar float. It says you can see the float, but I don't see it. So am I missing something here? Oh wait, wait, wait. Um I gotta set the hook depth lower and higher. If you're float fishing, you might want to try casting closer to the shore. Or short cast. Now use all I've taught you to catch yourself a fish. Hey Matrix. Hey, it's okay, welcome back. I'm not gonna catch anything on this bread. So in a float rod, you want to actually do a, uh, a short cast. So I definitely can see the float now. I just got the exploring the map. I, I visit all the places up to the waterfall. Um, I really didn't go anywhere else. <laughs> the game crashed on me. I mean, my whole pier shut off. But I did begin it on camera or on stream, so I'm gonna take a note of it and send it to the uh, devs for review. They did say they're gonna. Re I don't want to sign into my TV. What's the matter with you?
it lowered the um, the frequency of catching fish. And I think they lowered it a little too much. Although, you know, I'm going to actually put the depth back to the top for now. Yeah, I seen your trophy from yesterday, that's good. Okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm not catching fish. Is the flow fishing still bugged? Good spot of fish. Or is it because of the time of day I'm um, fishing? Give me a bite already. Then get on doing something else. Maybe I'm not deep enough. It doesn't show how deep the water is. I can't tell where to set it at. Okay. I'm just gonna do a long cast. That's a bass.
Red World Leeches News. Did I say red worms? They put new bait on here? So it looks like I can fish anywhere with the float. So I'm gonna go off the Yeti here and go fish. I'm gonna go check the baits though. Oh, Clay is a nice guy. There's something in the way you walk. You wanna buy some baits? I can tell. You've come to the right place. Some of the best porridge going piping hot and sprinkled with sunflower seeds to stir even the sleepiest waters. Oh, they did add some stuff. Juicy plump wigglers I fattened up myself. They say the early worm gets the fish and little cutie pies are more than punctual. Alright, let's go get some bass then. Do I need a different size hook? Max hooks is size two. Hook size. Or is that min size hook or a hook size needed? A customer? A real life customer? Come in, come on in. Have a browse. Oh, I'm going broke. This doing all this shit.
<laughs> oh, roaches do the fight during the day, so. Can we go try to go try for that blue tag roach on, um. The hell is that one place? Um. They're a, the syrup on. They bite more during the day than during the night. I don't necessarily have to fish here. I'm gonna go somewhere else. They did say if you're not catching a fish, move somewhere else. Oh, you're at Surapon, or where are you at? I don't know, I'm not getting fish. None. I think there's a problem with this quest. I mean, this mission, as far as what I read. But where the fish don't bite, I don't know. Uh, maybe it might say something about how deep they like to run. It's not saying anything. I don't see a fish jumping anywhere either. That's the weirdest thing. But I do know where some fish is at. M Dog was catching him off this bridge over here. So is uh, Mister. Can't see my float with my hand in the way. This can't be because of the time of day, so I don't know what's the deal.
I seen a fish jump back there, so. Ingested told Mista to cast towards uh, fish that are jumping. <laughs> I didn't cast that far. I gotta beat my mic for a minute, guys. Do apologize. Finally, I thought this quest was when the mission was broke or something. I was like, what the hell is going on? I can't catch nothing. So we got long day, long evening. And most likely a long night. Where the hell is everything out here? Did I seriously just get lost in this game? I always thought it would be lonely out here, but honestly, I think more people need to get away from people. I don't see anything about spin fishing, so. Hmm. Wonder why old Bigfoot has decided to rear his head now of all times, huh? What a mystery.
New lessons available. You just clipped your first spinning tackle. If you never been spin fishing before, something. make sure to check the instructions on the instruction board in the Diamond Peak Outpost. Diamond Peak. Can't replace them. Wonder if old Clay goes fishing with Zeke. Tried and tested family bonding, let me tell you. Oh, here it is. He never stops talking about the dude. Wrong button. Sophia back to teach you the ins and outs of spin fishing. Step up to the pier, if you please. You must be here about the buying things. You're very welcome. There's still more to buy. Come back. A spin fishing rod. Is a dock called a jetty? Spin fishing I never is a heard different of that. method that involves keeping the leer in constant motion to attract fish. Spin fishing is all about matching your lure and a treble technique to a fish's preferred target. Your lure imitates an object of interest to your target. Usually a prey fish and different retrieval techniques work better to emulate the swimming behavior of a different injured bait fish. Different retrieval techniques also make it easier to fish at different depths. Depending on the weight of your lure and the fish you're targeting, make sure to keep an eye on your depth meter. Spin fishing is all about the retrieval technique. There are many techniques, but the most common are constant, which reels in at a consistent pace, stop and go, meaning you reel stop, reel stop, giving your lure time to sink back down, and twitching, Meaning you move your lure around using the action of your rod while reeling in. Now let's see your stop and go. Eight fish love myth, very nice. Okay. Finally, catch a fish. Dealer's choice. Tackle Shop has different lures for different uh, spinning techniques, constant stop and go, twitching and jigging. In this instruction, we'll, we'll cover the first two techniques. Together with float fishing, this should all allow you to target a wide variety of fish in the reserve.
I'm gonna keep that low just in case because they changed the fighting mechanics to the fish. I think I see a fish coming. That's a rainbow. 5.7 pounds, 1.5 feet. I'd upgrade my gear a little, that's why it's a little more better. Not really. It depends on your grease that you have for your reel. It does, grease does actually play a good factor. So we're done with that. So we're just going to catch the fish for a while. Can't really see through the fish or not. If it was daylight, I could see. I don't think there's any fish here. Oh, there's a fish. You see that? I gotta get out there. Ah, uh, yes. It does help out. There's a fish right there coming. There's a bass, 4.5 pounds silver. Hundred eighteen credits.
I saw a fish popped up right over here. side of it. The water, I didn't realize what's wrong with it. Because, look at for a minute. Why well, do a short cast, right? Watch the water graphics. You can see how the, the whipples and stuff around the lure. It's because the fact is that the water, um, so basically, water here is basically a plane. Uh, plane is a flat surface, and when you add a, um, basically say a, a displacement map or a noise map, you're going to get these wavy effects and stuff. However, when you're reeling, you could right away tell that the water is low poly. If the water was higher polygon, then you would get better quality with the uh, detail of the water. I see here. Okay, so look at the water for a second. Do you see how um, it's kind of like um, you see a little bit of ripples on top, but that's not the case. Then you see this weird type of, uh, like someone said, jello type look when the water is moving. Because. I notice it. I'm pretty sure you guys notice it. Do you see how it's moving? That's that's not how it's supposed to move. So they got more than just a resolution problem. They're using a low poly um, polygon water. Um, let me show you guys what I mean, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna exit the game for a second. Because you guys gotta understand of what's happening here. So I'm waiting for this to load.
make sure that I can navigate this without it getting stuck on me. Okay, so this is the plane right here I'm talking about, right? I'm gonna drag this on top. I'm gonna close that game off because I'm lagging bad. I can't do this. I'm about to end this stream anyways. You'll have control of my mouse now here again. Okay. All right, so let's say this is the water, right? This is what we're looking at. And I can actually verify this. We go to the website, right? Call the wild angler. Because when I noticed was looking at the um their news and stuff like that. Like um how this right here, this approach to spawn, right? For the um fish spawning system. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. You see all these little uh, white, I mean, little squares, right? These are polygons. So what is looking at here, I would say this is, I would say about, um, we'll go about 2,000 by 2,000. So, and maybe. Okay, maybe 20. Try to get an idea what they're using for resolution. Okay, that matches. So 30 by 30, they're using. Um, for the resolution. So what they did, they did this. Um, we're going to go into the um, material editor here. Um, Give me a second. I gotta turn that on for a moment. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get this to work. All right. But so we're gonna add a map on here. Bitmap. Well, actually, it's not a bitmap. It's gonna be uh, something else. Add a noise modifier here. Then we're going to drag this on top of the water. Once we add a displacement. Now, well, I was talking about the displacement, right? Okay, so when you start controlling the strength, right? You see that it'll start changing. And they probably added a, a smooth modifier on this. This is what we're looking at. Okay, so now when we want to animate this, which we can. We add a noise modifier to this on top of displacement.
Okay. So now we'll, we'll click animation here. And we're going to go up here, changes to fractal. Return auto key on. Okay. We'll go to 100, just for example. We'll put this about um, maybe, I'm assuming that they're using about 20. This is what we're looking at. This is exactly the problem that they're using. They're using low resolution. Now, if you add more, um, say, on the uh, segments here, say we want to add maybe 100, right? And now we'll lower that displacement down. Oh, actually, hold on. <laughs> I forgot to turn the auto key off. That's so good. All right, turn the auto key off. So don't do that again. All right. Put this back to 100. Lord is down about maybe 35. So now if I animate this, see now there's more detail to the water. Okay, so now I want to show that on top of the water, what it should look like. So. Use. Um. Yeah, I might. Uh, because my uh, brother wants me to watch Jurassic World. I mean, the new Jurassic Park first. It's going to lag because the fact is, um, I'm streaming, and that's the problem. It's kind of lagging right now because the way it is. Because, like I said, I'm streaming. That's the whole problem. But I can create a uh, a preview animation, though. But this is basically what the noise looks like for the for the water. Well, it finished actually. This was doing that rendering is no problem. But right here you see the water now. That's what it should be doing. But in this case it's not in the game. So this proves my point that they're using uh thirty by thirty um for the size. Cause let's see. Right here also the this is the whole entire water map. 
to cover this size of a map, you would need like 100 by 100 like I showed you to uh, fix that. <laughs> Instead, they got it by 30 by 30. And now, if I push play, without that resolution, this is what you're getting. Let me shut that off. It's just, don't want to do his thing here. And this is running at um, not 60 frames, someone said. This is basically exactly what the water looks like at a low resolution. As you add more, the better, the more um, detail to the water. And also, this plays a factor, too. But more and more, you get better water quality. I mean, you got to get the picture, right? Because this, this tells you that this is why the water... Um, it's got a really lower resolution. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the stream here. Um, if you guys found the video um helpful, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like button. You guys want you guys to subscribe as well. I appreciate the support. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. And for those that are going to watch the uh, Russian Fishing Four stream, that will be starting in about a half hour. Alright guys, take it easy.